Okay. It was still impressive, even though, I mean, I love the sword play in this episode. Just the speed, but also fluidity they show with Will, wielding the sword against all the ice. And I was wondering if the other dudes with uh, Julius were ice, like, users too, and they were. I wasn't sure what they was going to do, but come to find out. They essentially was just helping him with the sm uh, spell. Yeah, he can cast it and control the clones, but not to as great of a use as he could with his teammates helping him out. I mean, it's still impressive that he was able to develop and do the spell, even if not perfect. We come to find out that she she created that when she was like two, even though that's not. They didn't really look like two year olds, but. It depends, but it's anime. I mean, it kind of, But even if she was two, that's no one else has been able to make a spell like that. So even that is still like impressive. A two year two year old coming up with a spell like that. No, he said it wasn't perfect, but that's still pretty crazy. And now people know, and she knows that Will told everyone essentially. But I still would say Julius was impressive. He wasn't. He's not weak or was ever weak. Arrogant, yes, and self full of himself, definitely. Which also kind of led to the downfall. I appreciate him not still trying to fight, but him and Will were stupid. To, be so focused on each other that the elf guy ended up winning. Playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. Instead of what they came there for. But either way, it was still a great episode, great fight. And see how both how skilled they both are. They didn't really give an explanation of how he broke out of that big ice spell. But chalk it up to just Will being super strong. Now the games are over. It's time for everyone to move on and for him to, Julius to apologize. And Will has definitely shown off his skills this time around. People can't deny it anymore. That, oh, they can't deny his skills and uh, capability. They can still hate him though, regardless of any, uh, of how impressive he was. But this should definitely make a change to a degree. We'll see how things are handled. Either way, I really enjoyed the episode. Can't wait to see what we go into next, how things develop. Especially interested to get to know the other two that was like essentially rivals to Julius. And see where we go from there. And for uh, his teammate.